Hello everyone, today we are going to learn how to detect mouse clicks on an image using OpenCV. So if we click on this image, we can get the word perspective as the output. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do and click the notification bell to keep getting the updated videos as we go along. So let's get started. So the first thing we will do is we will import our libraries and then we will add our image and we will show it uh, using the IM show function. So if I click on run, this is what we get. So we are going to detect the clicks on this image. So in order to detect the clicks, we need two things. One is the function that will be called if the event is uh, received and second is which image should uh, we detect the clicks on so we will start with the function first we will define our function as mouse points points and we will say that we have the events the x the y and the flags and the parameters as the arguments and then oops, we will say that if our event is equals to cv2 dot um, event left button down so if we click on the left button then we want to print x and y x and y so now that we are done with the function we need to define which image are we detecting the clicks on and we will say that cv2 dot set mouse callback and we will define which image and which function so we will say we need this image i will copy it so that there are no mistakes and we need the function mouse points to be called So now that we run this, let's run it, we will see our image and once we click, you can see in the printout we have 7468 which are the X and Y coordinates. So if we keep clicking, we will have multiple points that are being printed out. Uh, so this is how you can actually detect the points um, and the clicks on the image. But what if we want to implement it? So for implementation, uh, we will use our previous uh, video, uh, the code of the previous video, in which we actually got the word perspective of an image. Uh, if we run it, uh, this is what we had as the input. We defined these points manually. Uh, each point we have uh, the, the X and Y. So uh, as you can see in this line, we are defining all these points and then we are getting the warp, uh, warped image. Uh, out of this so this is the bird view now what we are going to do is we are going to automate this process where we are the ones who are deciding the uh, the four points so that we can warp and get the bird image of that particular area that we clicked on so in order to do that we will copy this and we will paste it here we will take our function and we will paste it here up top and we will copy our callback as well and we will hide out the or verb image uh, at least for now so let's try to run it and see if there's an error no there's no error okay that's good so if i click now uh, again i can see i can detect the clicks on the mouse uh, clicks on the image so let's let's not show any of the points at least for now so what we need to do now is we need to store these values uh, the, the values of the clicks that we are getting and we need to count how many clicks have we actually performed so what we can do is we can define um, an array or a matrix circles we will say that it is numpy dot zeros zeros and we will say that it is four by two 
and the reason for that is we need four points and each point has an x and y and we will also say that it is an integer because uh, normally it is float so we will say numpy dot integer okay so next we need to define our counter which is zero so each time we we click we will add to this counter so here we can say counter is equals to counter plus one it will add to our counter and then we can say that we need to store these values in our circles matrix uh, so we will write circles and we will say in the in the row of the counter we need to add our x and y value so this will store all the x and y values in the circles matrix so what we can do is uh, let's do one thing let's print out the circles the circles all of it uh, so let's see what happens so if I click once you will see that the the value at the top the first value is only updated if I click again uh, now the second value is updated now the third and now the fourth but if I click again it should give us an error that saying that you're getting out of bounds which is true so we need to define uh, we need to know when we have clicked four times so that we can display our verb image and get the points of our verb so all of this is um, the code for warping the image to getting the bird view so we only need to perform this once we have all four points so in order to get all four points we need to add a loop we will add a while loop we will say while true we will put all of this in the loop and we will remove this and say one now all of this needs to go inside of our if statement if our counter because we are counting how many times we clicked is equals to four then you need to perform this otherwise you don't need to perform it um, the other thing is that we yeah we want to show our output as well only if only if uh, the counter is four okay so and we also should display our points so in order to display our points uh, since we are storing them in circles um, the variable circles we will replace this by circles and circles and we will run it so if oh, let's put the size to something small like three now if we click for example here one here two three and four so we are getting our four images and as you can see we are getting our output image so let's go back the reason we got our output image very easily is because these points were already saved at this these values let's do it for another image let's call it book yeah this is the new image so if i click now one two three four this is what we get because our points are not being used instead we are using the hard-coded values so we need to replace those with our circle values so we will simply say circles uh, at point zero and then at point at row one row two and row three okay it's adding a lot of commas with it that is not good so three two no two and one so if i run this now uh let's click so you have to follow the pattern 
So the first one should be 0, 0, then width 0, which is this, and then height 0, which is this, and then width and height, which is this. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. And there you go. So as you can see, based on these four points, we are able to get the warped image. And now we can easily get uh, the bird view of any image we want. Let's go to card. And even if you want cards, sorry. So even if you want it for another image, right now this is not showing the whole image, but we can try. So for example, from here till here even for this image we can detect um, any any number of uh, cards or points that we like so in this example we did only four if you need more you can add and uh, subtract from it and so this is the basic concept of how you can detect mouse clicks on an image in OpenCV and uh, this is this is it for today and I will see you in the next video